Hey going guys and welcome back to a brand new video series. On this one we will be doing all the final prep work and painting on this HZ Premier right behind me. Now this whole car's had a full nut and bolt restoration. It's been put on a rotisserie, sandblasted, epoxy primed. It's had all the repairs done and put in resto finish. It's been blocked down with the Melomotive splines and big kid blocks. Put back in resto finish, blocked down again and put in a De Beers HS primer. So all that I really got to do on this build is to give it its final sand down and going over, um, address any minor issues which are on the car and paint it in De Beers base coat and clear. So I'll be making a heap of videos. I hope you all enjoy it. Let's get into the video right now. You on my mind a lot. Don't need no time watch. I don't know how I got you in my pocket spot. This video series is proudly supported by Welcome Australia and SBI. Got my heart no from the couch. Might wake the neighbors up. But you win and break you out. In the end, we're gonna make the chat. Then we're gonna hit the show. Part two, we don't need no pause. Alrighty guys, so here is the HZ Premier. So this actually belongs to one of my subscribers who's actually followed my channel um for a good part of three years he um actually saw me paint or he, he watched the video and started watching my channel when i painted the hq gds coupe um if you guys want to <laughs> go check that video out i'd be um i'd be happy for you to go watch it so my very first video don't criticize me too much <laughs> um so the car is actually really straight i've just blocked the top half of this quarter panel here a little bit up the pillar and here and um i'm i'm stoked that it's like the way it is it's 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 actually really straight sometimes when um someone's never done a car before and they do everything themselves um depending on where they get their information from etc sometimes they can butcher the car and i was a little bit wary about taking this car on for that fact of that it takes experience to do a nice job and he basically told me everything that he's done on the car, the products that he's used, the tools and blocks and stuff like that that he's used. And I thought, you know what? I'll take the car on and I'll sand it down and I'll paint it. So I went round and I wet checked all the car and basically inspected it for any ripples and dents and poor um, like panel repairs. And I'm actually really surprised and happy now that um, it's actually really straight. So it's not gonna take too much work to get it all blocked up. Um, there's a few things I wanna fine tune, um, like getting these body lines a little bit straighter, get some real defined uh, shape to the line. Um, sometimes they can be a little bit um, uneven. As a really good example, um, it might be a bit hard to see in this light, but uh, this body line which runs down the car, the style, like the main style line. On the opposite side, it's incredibly sharp through here. It starts about where this hole is, where the mould goes, and it's like razor sharp all the way through here and then goes round again. Now, it's meant to be semi-round. They're not meant to be razor sharp. I know a lot of guys that do restos on these kind of uh, models is they really, they just bog up the lines and get them like razor sharp, hey? And you can look at them and go, yeah, they didn't come out from the factory like that. The fact that this one's nice and rounded, I quite like it. So in regards to the lines, so that's just fine tuning them. It's easy um, to fix and to like fine tune them because um, they are rather rounded up there and they come down. And yeah, I think they are meant to be sharper through here or less bulgy like you can see on the the rear half of the door and the quarter that's really bulgy it kind of concaves up well it doesn't up here it's not meant to um but the other side's super sharp so um that's enough talking about the lines <laughs> i think you get the drift so we're gonna yeah fine tune things now there's a little bit of um panel alignment issues up the front here um you can see that nose cone's poking out there um, the gaps on the bonnet aren't the best. They're not bad up the top there. Comes down, does get pretty tight up here. Uh, on this side, it's really bad. Um, so yeah, it's fairly decent up the back there. You come down and it's almost touching. It doesn't have those uh, bump stop little adjustment things that go up and down to lift or lower the bonnet height. 
to match the guards. They're not there, I don't think. So um, all that we can really do is get the alignment in and out right. You also notice here that the nose cone here is also poking out. So that's an indication that with the tight gap up here and that poking out there, um, that the guard's got to come out a little bit. Um, the overall gaps on the car are pretty good. Now I'll show you that line that I was talking about. See how sharp that line is compared to the other side. And it's not really consistent all the way down. So we'll fix that up. Overall, uh, this side, we wet checked the whole side just before. It's actually really straight. So there's a couple of little things that I want to fix up. There was a wolf in the guard just here. There was another one here, like a little pin dent there. And that's pretty much it. So all we're doing is giving it a full final block down and we'll be painting it in three weeks. If I do it faster, if I obviously like uh, get it all prepped up in a week, which is pretty easy to do, um, it was more or less me saying to the owner of the car that like um, I would say about three weeks and I'll have it painted. That's why like worst case, well not worst case scenario, but um, it depends on what the body's like. If it's really good, then it takes a faster time to get it done. If it's really bad, then it takes me longer. It's just the way it happens. So um, I'll play some footage uh, for you guys to watch of me blocking this top half of the quarter panel. This video is just a bit of a short one to show you a bit about the car and show you um, what you can see on my channel for the next few weeks, I guess. Um, so body colours are silvery bluish metallic. I forget the name now, um, but the insides of the doors are all painted. I'll see if I can get my hand in here and open this up. So that's, wow, that's the body colour and it's got black overspray all over it. That's not very good. Anyway, so that's that. <laughs> oh, God. So that's that. Um, so yeah, overall condition of the car does look pretty good. Now, I want to talk a little bit about preparation of your primer far out. I don't know if you can see those scratches, but... Holy moly. Look at that. What you're looking at there, guys, is basically really cool scratches underneath the primer. And it's not ideal. To fix that does take a lot of effort. Um, you've got to sand all the primer off back to the resto finish, finish in 240, reprime it, and then block it all down again. <laughs> Oh, the joys, eh? It's so good. I do miss it. So, this is one of the reasons why I try and emphasise on my videos that when you're doing repairs um, in your filler, that you always finish in like 180 or 240. And what that does is prevent all these scratches from happening when you prime it. Because if you were to sand that down and paint it, um, your metallic, when the paints are all like releasing all the solvents and drying when the clear coat dries and everything sucks in all these scratches here imagine your color is on top of that and you can see all those scratches in your color that's what's going to happen if you were to just paint like sand and paint that that's what happens so when someone wants a nice job <laughs> you can't just sand and paint it so always important guys uh, just wow, like I wish the camera could pick pick all them up. Look at that. So it's <laughs> pretty vicious, I must admit, pretty bloody vicious. So anyway, enough talking. Let's set some cameras up. We'll get some 240 out and big kit blocks, and uh, we'll start blocking all the primer off. Back to the resto finish, and try and eliminate all those scratches. Now it does get tricky because when you start sanding all that off they're no longer visible so it makes it super hard um, to see if you've sanded them all out so to make it um, a lot safer it's probably best to sand all the primer off back to the resto finish and keep going a little bit until you start seeing minor rub throughs if it depends on how much uh, resto finish is on the car too um, if you start hitting like filler or like bare metal then yeah stop and uh, reprime it so let's get some cameras set up and um, some blocks and let's start sanding.
So the blocks of choice for uh, the quarter panel, it's gonna be one of these big kid blocks. And we've also got another big kid block here. I actually quite like this one. It's actually really good. There you go, I'll get in camera view for you. So yeah, this one's really good. Um, and also the other one too. So I've got some 240 here. Um, to try and, I've actually got some 120 at work. I might actually bring that home tomorrow night, which will speed up the blocking process to get rid of a lot of that primer. Um, but this would be good enough for starters anyway. This is a really good example of what I was talking about. Have a look at this. Look, I'm actually, um, I've actually got my camera on the other way. But you see those lines in the primer there? In the guide coat? Look at those lines up there. That shrink back, guys. That's what you wanna avoid happening when you prime your car. So if you're wondering, am I putting much pressure on the block? Nah, not, not really. Just letting them work, uh, sorry, just letting the block do the work, the sandpaper do the work. Um, but yeah, I guess the only like, like the only pressure I'm really putting on it is just keeping that block flat with the panel, that's it. Yeah, that quarter panel's looking really good. I'm happy, very happy. So, let's talk a little bit about, I don't want this video to go on for too long, um, but basically, I wanna um, basically start blocking the very start of the door and start lining up these gaps. Now, you see how we've got a nice gap all the way down? It's very consistent. But the door line here is a fraction, um, it's a fraction lower than the quarter panel. Now, if you were to give that a block, it really highlights where the line actually is. And sometimes it can be a optical illusion um, where the line is. And a block, like a big key block, doesn't lie. So what I like to do is just start sanding that just here and we'll see if it lines up with that quarter panel. All right, so I've got my 240 here. That's all it takes. That's all it needs. So now, I know I've missed a little bit right there, but you get the gist of it. And it looks like there's a bit of a low spot there in that door there, just there. But I'm pretty confident, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. That lines up. Got good gaps. So that gives us an idea that um, keeping that line relatively straight down the car is not gonna be too much of an issue. Um, you can see on that banana line on that front fender, see how it's really sharp and prominent up the very front, but then it kind of shallows off near the door and then it goes back sharp again onto the door and then comes back down again. So what I'll do there is I'll use some 18 mil tape. I'll start at the front near the nose cone, whoop, over here, and then um, mask it all the way down. Sometimes it can be a little bit like tricky getting the tape in the right spot. So um, mask it up, have a good stand back, have a really good look at it. Maybe you like adjust it if you need to. Mask it up, block up to the line, and we'll actually sharpen that line up in the, at the back half of that guard, make it look a little bit better there. But we'll probably save that for another video. Um, we'll do a dedicated video on uh, getting those banana lines much better. Um, looks like there may even be a low spot at the back of that guard on that body line, like right there. But yeah, anyway, I reckon I might call the video there, guys. Um, I'll be a little bit more organized tomorrow night with uh, a video. This was just a quick little, let's 
you get some tools out. Let's have a bit of a block, see how straight it is. Get a, some um, lot wet checking going on. But yeah, happy with that quarter panel. I'm happy that the lines are starting to match up. There's a few little things wrong with it here and there, but we'll fine tune those as we go along. All right, so that pretty much gives you a look at the HZ Premier. If there's anything that you'd like to see me make a video about, be sure to jump down in those comments, uh, give me some ideas, and I'll be sure to make a video about it. Anyway, I'll roll on some footage of me blocking this quarter panel down and wet checking the opposite side. Uh, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you on my next video. Cheers.